23. So you want to talk about the pregnancy and giving birth and the days after. Yes, because yeah. it's uh, physically very demanding, yeah. emotionally very demanding, <sighs> and it's more hard to keep uh, your self away from the character structure. Of yes, course. and especially in the relationship, you mm. uh, everything is tensed because new person is gonna arrive. Mm. <laughs> But it's very hard because if two people waiting for one person mm. and so how, how to get yourself together when it's so, so hard. Uh, it, uh, the strange thing is that uh, giving birth is a lot letting go. Letting go? Uh. Of what? It's letting go. So the child is not more inside you, but it come out. Yeah. It is uh, relaxed so you can give the birth because then the contraction do itself. Uh, so it's not you that had to make them. No. It happened. And so it is giving, letting go or giving, not giving up, but give you self the chance to, to, what is it? På dansk hedder det. Uh, it's the same a dog that get laid down. It don't give up. It um, surrenders. It sur no, not surrender. No. But of course, it surrender. It is uh, getting into, giving yourself into. So, like, uh, fine. I'm not in control. I'm. <laughs> I had to follow the what is going on. Yeah. And you say you, I don't decide it. No. So who? <laughs> you can decide to not go into it, but uh, and you can do that per on purpose and uh, without knowing. Yeah. But you cannot decide to when you really get the contraction, and so you cannot decide. I make the contraction. That's not no. possible. No. So what decides that? It is to not decide. It is to. Decide that you will sur you will go into it. It will happen and trust into and, it. Yeah, and trust that. So how when there is a lot of fear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the problem. Mick. And uh, I know you have the fear of being alone after because you have tried that twice, but especially the last time. Yeah. It was totally alone around it. Yeah. All things. That is to again and again look at I am not alone now. Yeah, and you said to do... Yeah, to take it in with your energy uh, exercise and I am not alone. So I mean, like creating a new coding? Yeah, it is. I mean, I come down here to support you because I knew it could be difficult for you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> See, Even I had to leave my <laughs> dog. You know how much that means for me. Yeah. But I do. Yeah. You're not alone. No. I can see it, but it's the the trauma was so strong. Yeah, yeah I yeah. know. But the trauma is past. Yeah. I'm here now. Yeah. He is here now. Yeah. You two children, they in this case work nearly like a grown-up. They will be grown-up kids <laughs> <laughs> like you. It is really brought up in a way where they can take responsibility there. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. And your girlfriend? Yes. You have a lot of girlfriends that's there. You also have some that's not. Yeah. We all have that. Yeah. But you have a lot of people. Yeah, so it's... And when I leave, Dita is coming. Yeah. And she also really wants to yeah. support you all. Yeah. So it's like repeating this reality, what is Again and now. again, yeah, and again. Yeah. And then also I had to know that... Because it's so unconscious and this is... Yes, I it's know. not like I think about the previous and uh, put it, my... It happens. Uh, it happens, yeah. yeah. But now I need to put conscious yes. here. Yes. Yeah. So could you say in... Um, when people have previous experience, whatever it is, it's uh, 
doesn't matter conscious or unconscious it's so important to look what is here and now exactly to really integrate it into yeah energy yeah is it only energy so if you are able to integrate it with your energy in some way it is a kind of prey okay can you say more <laughs> you pray yeah i'll say more about that you you make a constantly this is the here and now is different the here and yeah, now is yeah it's like different. a new affirmation to me it yeah. was and i have a lot of support now it is a kind of prayer yeah right? but it's like also when you pray to to god the spirit and whatever you pray to then you then you say you here inside me mm -hmm. because uh, the spirit and the god and whatever is inside you but you know it's also very overwhelming yeah. to take it in the opposite yes, what it is that's like very and touching and overwhelming uh, and it's good but it is also overwhelming but that's okay it's so overwhelming Yeah. It's okay that come tears and it's whatever. okay it come tears <laughs> yeah, because that uh, it will yeah. when you really start to sense that all this is not only outside you it's also inside you because it go in with your energy. Mm. So when um, and it is strange that the best things we try to keep out yeah it's strange but that's what we do is there a human being dear animal don't do that you have to be very 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 wounded if they're going to do that so like to hold on to something what is not good anymore uh, when you first when you first that's what did you do she work with her Uh, dogs that mm -hmm. is really wounded and she hold them when she pet them yeah and then they suddenly surrender that's how i feel when i need to integrate the new uh, <laughs> someone <laughs> like i need to hold myself because i want to run yeah. away uh, yeah. yeah yeah because it is overwhelming uh, uh. so you say don't fight the overwhelming <laughs> no let it go in let it be as a, you don't die of good overwhelming thing yeah It feels nearly like that, but you don't. And do you know why it feels like that? Why? It's because the energy level go up in a frequency. Yeah. There is a little like the frequency of fear. Yeah. Yeah. So you combine the joy fear the joy energy with fear energy. Mhm. Mm Or and then it get This is danger, but it isn't. Let her go. It's Let fine. her go. She come in. Yeah. Yeah. You can sense the energy out in the garden even. Yeah. And then she go. So I think it's also important that, like, I've been to a lot of therapy and I, you of know, course. I'm surrounded with people that know a lot about it. So it's very lucky position. Yes. And um, for people that are don't don't have that, that, what would you say to a regular person that is, uh, you know, regular mama that is expecting a baby? I and hope I get them a little before two days, four or something. Yeah, like yeah. I think, but I will teach them energy exercise. Mm -hmm. I will teach them while pregnant. Yeah, and say doesn't matter you think you can do it or not do it it's fine to do it when it's only is a fantasy that you're doing it just you start a place mm. but do it every day yeah and in the same time say to yourself this time it is different so like again this kind yes, of uh, exactly new reality yeah yeah because we really need to take that in a lot yeah to be able to let go of the old one to Maybe. put something instead yeah, yeah. that's you your way 
go in and cry for the past and do all these things and think then it is changed. It isn't. <laughs> the coding is still or there. I'm physically not there, so it's changed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because no, uh, the the change is that you make a new coding system, and it had to be conscious, like because I make yeah. a conscious, like because now it's now different. Now you conscious, yeah, about it. Um, so also think about you already now have a goal for your professional life. Mm -hmm. It will not di disappear. Mm -hmm. Maybe you postpone it a little, yeah. but it don't disappear. It can never disappear before you really want it to disappear. Yeah. If you get to that. Yeah. I'm still not getting to that, you can see. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe you never will get to that place. Yeah. And uh, just to explain that, um, it's what is the things after the birth that it's not three days after. Yeah, you know that you know there's coming a day where you cry and all things is terrible and you don't want to be here and all that. Yeah. So what do you do with those days? <laughs> do it. Cry. Be like that. And the people around you had to know. I will promise I will be with the kids and tell them. That's fine. Why that does this period come? It is a hormone shift in you. Yeah. That's very, very... Uh, strong. Uh, strong. Like the milk get produced more and... Uh, it, it, they happen a lot of shift. Your... your uterus contract so the physical uh, from being that big to being that little yeah as i mean but is there a spiritual or or psychological uh, reason why it's happening uh you know like you say letting go uh, there is no really psychological reason there is the hormone shift yeah and that's why you have it yeah yeah it is like you change so much so fast because mm. it's a shock in a way. Yeah, I never thought about that. You could say that. Yeah, it's a little shocking for the for the body. Yeah, but it had to happen. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we cannot. It's a big transition. Big. All transition is uh, like that. Yeah. When I start to withdraw, I'm not going there, I'm not going there, and, and so on. Mm -hmm. That is a transition. Then you also have it like that. Yeah. So what would you suggest to the people around? What is the best way to support a mom just, Again, just after? To say, okay, I let go being pregnant. Mm -hmm. I let go that my uterus is big now. Mm -hmm. It is a little hard. I'm crying now. And sometimes say to the people around you, it's my third day. I'm crying. That's okay. So what would you say to people that are with the... I say let her cry and don't stop her and don't try to uh, talk reasonable to her because no point <laughs> no point for that she's not reasonable so right what now. would you say to the husbands <laughs> the that same the same you're not reasonable you are the crying person today mm. yeah when when i was in the midwife clinic i was working there then uh, when they come to this day but in that time you had to be there 10 days because you had to be totally clean. No inflammation could come on. You know, hmm. the antibiotic, we have one or two antibiotics in that time. Eh? So, so he was very, very careful. So then we was there and say, yeah, it's really difficult. And I don't want the child. Okay, then we give it some uh, Food, uh, milk, uh, some, no, not milk. We we gave it the uh, water, and then we come in again. Next, then she got a little of the food and water, or if we could milk, 
something out so they don't get breast inflammation. Mm. Then we gave them that. And then with a teaspoon or just down because we didn't want them to suck the pesticide off. Mm -hmm. I don't now I don't think that changed because of course they rather want to suck your breast. Yeah. But uh, and next day it was different. It the switch was big. It switch. But if you allow this uh, emotion yeah, to come because exactly. if you fight it or you then are you judgmental can, towards it or people want to stop it then it can it stay cannot there. transition. No, it can the transition don't really happen, or it happened in a not so nice way. Mm. And normally what I saw was that fourth day was different and fifth day nothing left. So there was hope after yeah. this. <laughs> and that is amazing to see, but it is a big transition. It's a big body transition, and of course, that bring you into. Mm -hmm. Cannot, again, in some way you cannot handle it. And if you have any kind of control things in your character <laughs> structure, mm. you try and no. try, <laughs> and, you, and you can nearly not yeah, but when uh, like I have the control yeah, thing, of course. so you it helps a lot them. when somebody gives like a permission or you know you need yeah. to give yourself the permission. Yeah. This is the time to cry or yeah, if you have it whatever. coming, it's okay. It's allowed. Yeah. This allowing, yeah. then it's also kind of control, but it's... It's another. Yeah. It's a letting go. That is something else. Yeah. And then normally, I said, normally things will be good, eh? but of course they can come different things. Suddenly the, there could be problem with the feeding, the milk. You got tired that if the child don't sleep. Mm -hmm. But I know that everyone could very fast give the child a rhythm Mm -hmm. So it sleep at least for five hours at night. So what helps to get this? I think many moms would like to know. <laughs> yeah, but one thing is don't feed your child the whole time. In what way? What is you feeding know, the whole time? And then you give it breast. Yeah. No, maybe it wants to be talked to, changed. Maybe when it is warm like now, it, it needs something to drink. Mm -hmm. And the milk is food, it is not drinking. Mm -hmm. So we always gave the children, the babies, a little on a little spoon that was not cold, of course. Uh, a little water, cold boiled water. Yeah. Water that was boiled but was a little cold, maybe with a little sugar. In there. Mm -hmm. And it because you get dehydrated. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know that. That they give them milk. But it is not enough mm -hmm. when when it is warm like now. So you could could you say if they the parents cannot or don't see the right need for the baby and they mm -hmm. give food for every need or yeah. then it gives more chance that the baby will be more often in a different then rhythm. They, they need the whole time, not full, but not, not hungry. Mm. And and then you slowly make it longer and longer between the meals, the uh, evening and morning. Yes. So the last Meal. ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, I know know what fit you, mm -hmm. but because your baby already have a rhythm, because I sleep. Because you have a rhythm, yeah? So it's a so myth that they say, oh, when the baby is born, it has no sense of rhythm because no, it's... No, they don't, but they get it very fast. Okay. Think about your puppy. Mm -hmm. right? How fast it gets the rhythm to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. huh? Even in the summer, it sleep until you come down. Yeah. 
it is a time rhythm. And I used that because you could do it with every kind of anim uh, animals, puppies or kittens or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we have the same. Your baby has the same possibility to start to get a rhythm. So how long, you would say, is there? Because some say, well, it, my, my child was two years busy finding this rhythm. Yeah, but it is, I know that when in the clinic I was, uh, people was the 10 days. Mm -hmm. And after 10 days, 80% at least have a rhythm. Mm. And that's a lot. So it's not forcing the rhythm of the child. No, and uh, in that clinic, the child was never never allowed to cry. I uh, saw. So. so how do you at that at the crying part? You take them up. Yeah. You talk with them. You try to look. Do they see something? Do they see your face? Are you there with them? Uh, or give it to the dad, or whatever. Mm -hmm. to get some contact and to get already from the beginning get words mm -hmm. like if they look say that's a figure you don't say that is buddha that's a buddha figure that's mm -hmm. too much <laughs> you have one word for all the different kind of figure you have Mm -hmm. And then uh, when they are around one, uh, one year or eight months, then you can separate. Yeah. Then you start to say, mm hmm, and then you know, why is this a figure and this a figure it don't look like each other. So in the beginning, you just give them one word. Yeah. But I really, I really, have a big memory of this clinic I was because it was an old midwife, big one with a deep voice. Mm -hmm. But she, she and the old nurse that was there too was the head. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they come down and the baby cried, they gave three warnings. No, what then? They don't give a morning. They gave a three month salary out. So uh, we, we hear here a lot in in Holland that, for example, if the baby's crying, like oh, it's good for their lung development. Like it's okay. No, it is not okay to cry. No. It's okay to. Yeah. It's not okay to cry. Okay. It's sad. So seek contact. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at monkey tribe, you've seen a lot of uh, in TV about mm -hmm. monkey or other babies. They don't cry. No, yeah, the mom goes right away to do exactly, something. Exactly, yeah. Lick them or... Feed them. <laughs> no, I don't think you should lick them. <laughs> Be with them and pet mm -hmm. them. Pet them, I guess. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. like that. And da, 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 da. So, how much do you think it influences how the mom is? on the way the baby is, uh, newborn baby is behaving because they are still in the symbiotic bond. Yes. So if the mom is uh, yeah, attached. Yeah. Uh, but the better you, the mom come is. come out, they're not attached. They have to reattach. And the reattachment can happen both with mom, dad and sibling. Mm -hmm. And animals in the house. Mm -hmm. And I think, mm -hmm. because I can see different animals uh, pack, where there is possibility for being attached to more than one, there's mm -hmm. more safeness. For the baby. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Mm. So, like, you would say you encourage that to give the babies yeah. chance to attach to more than just the yeah. mom and dad. Mom and dad and sibling, not the whole tribe. Mm -hmm. You had to know the whole tribe. Mm -hmm. You know, there is a Native American, North Native American tribe. I don't remember the name of the tribe. They have a beautiful um, tradition. Uh, the two great moms is, of course, there to help the birth. Mm -hmm. And the dad. And then when the baby is born, it is with the mom and the dad. Mm -hmm. Grandma with to our little. And then uh, the first of them, and I don't know if it's a mat material or... Uh, as a Fathers or mothers. Or mother's uh, mom that is coming mm -hmm. and take the child. And then she walk out in the nature with the child for around an hour. And she, she present the child to the nature. This is uh, mother tree. No. Oh. And it is, this is the oak mother tree. This is, and then the name of the child. Mm -hmm. Because in Native American tribe, when you come out, there is the medicine man and medicine woman, they look at you and they know what your name is. <laughs> and then, they first get their real name when the whole tribe know what their speciality, what they really good at. Mm -hmm. Then they get that kind of name. But that then they are around fourteen. Mm -hmm. Then when they grow up, it's fourteen, beautiful. yeah, thirteen, fourteen. Then they get the real name. Oh, so you have a name into that, and then the tribe know what kind of name you need. Mm. You're the one there is good at hunting, or you're the one with a good bow, or you're the one that's connected to the eagle, or whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah. these kind of names. But I love this, it presents mm -hmm. the child to the earth, to the nature, mm -hmm. and the nature to the child. Yeah. And then it come in, and I'm with the mom, and get breast, and so on. Then the next grandmom is coming. Mm -hmm. at least the day after, take the child and go around to the whole tribe and present the child for the tribe and the tribe, uh, the, the person for them. They're not touching it, all of them, no. They're looking at So she say, she will say, look, this is a, uh, what? An a uh, smart fox, whatever. <laughs> yeah. This is, and this is. Uh, they introduce each other. Yeah. So you get to know them. Mm. And with the knowledge we have today, we know that they still have a lot of oxytocin uh, more than else in their blood. And that the baby. The baby, yeah. And that give them a lot of chance to, to keep the memory. Because of that? Yeah. So it's a crucial period yeah. to take people yeah. in yeah. for the baby. Uh, yeah. And that's the reason it is very important that the important people you know mm -hmm. in your life can come and say hello early. Mm -hmm to get this kind of yes. attachment. Yeah. What if you cannot? Yeah. Many I people live in different places know, in the world. I know, it's terrible, yeah. But I thought about it a lot. And then I remember Didis Atua. The dog. Yeah. yeah, and that is a dog. Yeah. That's a bestie, a very smart dog. She was, I was taking care of her for more than a month, and that's a little too much for a dog. And she was starting, even she was playing with my dog and have she? a nice time. Our he dog. was, yeah. sorry. <laughs> then he started to be depressed. And I was talking to him. Oh, you're sad, your mom is not here. Then you really looked down. 
Then suddenly he did like this. He looked at the table. He saw my computer and jumped up on the table and bang on the computer. Then I say, oh, you used to see, I know he used to see me on Skype. Mm -hmm. So we try and lucky, the mom was there. Mm -hmm. So so she turned up and he got so happy, lick it, I had to wash my computer after. The whole one, and then he run out in the garden and play. So when he can sense the knowledge to the computer, mm -hmm. probably our kids can too. Babies? Yeah, there's a big chance for it at least. It's worth to do it. I would do it if it was me that gave birth today, yeah. To see life. Yeah. The, 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 the I baby. think the, in some way I think the sense the energy through too. Mm. They're so sensitive for that. They do have a lot more knowledge about that, that we have, we have lost ours. So you suggest when there is the distance and now many people also because of Corona yeah. keep the distance. Yeah, even they exactly. To That's use terrible. It. Yeah. So to use the yeah. video. Yeah. To still uh, think how many children that have been avoid attach to important people because of Corona. Yeah, terrible. <sighs> so the next best thing is to the yeah, through the will, monitor. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And very few think about trying to get the connection through Zoom or Skype or whatever you have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm too old to have all the names for these possibilities. <laughs> Just the screens. <laughs> yeah. Good. Then there is hope to still be yeah. attaching even if yeah, it's I different so. parts of the world I or think other. So. I think. Yeah. I really think. And that's special the first four days. Eh? The first four days is the oxytocin that mm. is most... Uh, mm. Yeah. Mm. We... Uh, uh, for your husband and your children, and me, hopeful, mm -hmm. it is important to come in the same day. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, you cannot smell it because you are in it. Mm -hmm. But when you open the door and you come in, it smell of oxytocin. Yeah? Yeah. So I will not be able to smell it. No, because you have it also <laughs> a higher level. Yeah. Eh? So, so what what does it do to me? The same. Like getting more attached to yeah. people around me. Uh, yeah, and to uh, to and the child and to the baby. Eh? Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of there's even a lot of midwives that don't know this. I don't know here. I know the midwife is really trained in the way we did one time, but. We don't do more. Now they're not. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure they know it. About the uh, oxytocin and the at all, attachment? All things, how important the different things I talked about is. Like they don't know, the child had to find his own rhythm. What is its own rhythm? They don't have anyone. They mm -hmm. had to learn to have a rhythm. Yeah. And of course, when it is hungry, you should not uh, say, no, you cannot get food before two hours. It's not that way. Mm -hmm. Then you had to give it a little, but slowly you can help to give them a rhythm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just uh, thinking we speak a lot about the child, but the parents is the one that provides this possibility. Yeah, exactly. And what is... Uh, what I lacked is, for example, good support for the moms mm. because it's like being forgotten while if the mom is not okay, the child cannot be very good too. That's true. So what is important things to look after for the surrounding to support the mom? Because if she's, you know, feeding the baby and waking up in the night, what is a good thing to... Um, yeah, there is no other that can feed the child. No. <laughs> well, if you do bottle feeding, then... Yeah, uh, but like, don't... 
don't yes, do but that in, the beginning. in in any case the the mom is the primary take care yeah. caretaker with the dad <gasps> and if she lacks the support then it's more difficult for her to take care of the baby that's true that's so what true. would be like you would say as i mean even she had to feed the child she don't need to change the child every time no the dad could do that sometimes and so on eh? mm -hmm. and then uh, when he already is one month or something if she's really tired i have a girlfriend there i have problem with feeding and one time I come in to the hall in the apartment stairs, I could hear her crying and the baby crying. Mm -hmm. So I went up, I took the child, I put the mom in the bed. She had not slept for many, uh, four months. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I took the bed down and we went down and buy a bottle and some... Uh, milk product you know some of the yeah powder yeah, powder the good one and then i feed the baby the baby was so hungry because she have never got enough food hmm. and then i took her up again and i changed her and i put her hmm. in and she slept for three hours hmm. the baby or the mom the, the, the mom slept for four <laughs> Yeah. The baby slept for three hours, never done that before. So they were supposed to totally exhausted. Yeah. And someone from our side mm -hmm. had to come and help. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And I did it and uh, in that time there was in Denmark there was a nurse that come. Mm -hmm. And she had told no you ha you really had to feed it and it will be okay. Even you could see the weight went down. I said, then there is something wrong. Yeah. And I knew that because I have had this work. So I was thinking, doesn't matter now, the child had to be fed. <laughs> and the mom gets some rest. And the mom had to have rest. Yeah. And then, uh, then she, what she did was she feed it still for two months but only half the time the other half it got bottle bottle and all things got very nice again so not to stay rigid because yeah this is the plan i had or this yeah. is the wish i had exactly. also to be more more flexible in yeah. that way yeah i think it's important that the moms get supported in that of course that that uh, of course That's that it's I okay say. because That's I remember with my second, I could uh, not see was he full or not full, and this idea that the best is breast milk, okay, but if it's not enough and nobody say it and you really have this drive, I want to give the best, yeah, but it doesn't happen, it's so frustrating, so yeah. it would have been helpful to hear, it's okay, yeah. you know, there you're not alone to decide this. Exactly. Yeah. And then also this will remember that when it is really hot, you often need a little water. Yeah. Just a, a teaspoon. Yeah. Cannot Enough. drink a lot. <laughs> no, a lot of people never think about it. No. I also remember I walked around with my baby. It was heat waves. So she was in this big carrier. With, uh, of course, a little pants and a little, mm. but not a lot. And and nearly thin, thin, thin things on top of her. And then I passed this, I have put comfortable around them and all things up. And I mean, he was nearly dying of heat. Yeah. I, I had the take it away of course i didn't do it but mm -hmm. i th and he was screaming and he walked them and walked them to do the best and of course it don't help no it's so sad and frustrating yeah it is yeah that people do things to do the best and don't know no no it make me sad yeah
but now we make this short video so maybe some yeah. will well, see you, that there's more. other options there's <laughs> other option yeah 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 there's. and it is also a very good things now i know you have big kids or you have kids that is very responsible i would say because they're not that big mm -hmm. so it will be fine when the child need to be walked to fall asleep let them do it mm. Also, not overdoing it. <laughs> not not if they don't want. No, not if they don't want. That's. But it, I think it's very important to mention because that's true. Yeah. They don't have to, but if they want, let them do it. Yeah. As I mean, you can walk around in this area and come back fast. And they have a mobile phone. <laughs> and they have mobile phone and all things. So yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, there has to be this. Uh, Balance. Good balance. Yeah. Yeah. True. Thank you. Very welcome. Thank you. And uh, now it's more clear and interesting. Mm. Yeah.